Chapman's left shoulder. Down to Box. Over to Barrett, and Seaver gets out of it. The opening double does no harm, oh. by the way. Foul back, and it's a strike. It's a clean strike, and he's going to go to first base. Got it. Struck him out with two on, and the Angels strand two again. The box at third comes up nicely for him. On to Barrett, and the clear fielder's choice once again. There goes Pettis again. The swing and a miss, strike three, they throw him out at third. So the double play completed there on the strikeout five. It is lined softly past short. Boone gets the go, and here comes Rice's throw. He is going to be out at home. Jim Rice fires on the floor. It only been done once in the previous century. But on this day at Shea Stadium, Tom Seaver did something even more impressive. Seaver had received his 1969 Cy Young Award before the game, and early on, he dominated the Padres. With two outs in the sixth, he'd recorded nine strikeouts, and that's when Tom Terrific's performance went from dominant to untouchable. Seaver struck out the last 10 batters in a row. No other pitcher had ever struck out that many in succession. While three other pitchers have gone on to strike out 20 in a game, Seaver's 10 consecutive strikeouts is a record that still stands. Struck him out. The ball past five will affect him. Struck him out on three pitches. Now Seaver went to work and blew Geronimo and here two years ago with his club. Billingham waving for the third strike. Right. Boy, he got him. That's the way Jim Palmer was. Throwing today in the first rising double. right at the batter. Beaver struck him out. No Ten attempts on the season. Cheney's gone. Beaver just overpowered him on six pitches. Three and two pitch. Quick three. Rose is hot looking. Three times in a row, Seaver has nailed Rose. No run. City as Cincinnati's extraordinary. Struck him out on a curve. Strikeout seven for Tom Perez Seaver. away. Foul tip. Strike three. Strikeout number nine for Seaver. Three up and three down. Tuck McGraw with a screw ball. Geronimo is the tenth strikeout victim. Strike three. Eleven strikeouts for Seaver. No runs, a hit, no errors. One left for the Reds at the end of seven. You're in command. The 3-2 delivery. Struck him out on an outside fastball, a foul tip. A little boy here. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Struck him out, a foul tip. On a sharp curve, strikeout number 13. When he does, it is a mistake. Two and two. Got him. Cut fastball. He single to right field in the first inning. And he goes the other way. The left center, Rudy Loa, however, fading back and makes the catch easily. Short, but that's exactly where Fletcher was playing and he just goes to the bag. Ground ball to the right side. Van Slaw goes to Fletcher. He goes back to Walker and they get the double play. However, two singles and a double get the move. No runner. Got him. I was just going to say on the sheet, Sunberg had struck out more than anybody else on the Brewers and two down. Walker is back of him. Look at Seaver once again in slow motion. It was a hard slider. He got it inside, but he threw it with such velocity. The ball was by seven. This struck that. And he has only one hit and six times up. Curve him and strikes him out. Three strikeouts in a row for Tom Seaver. Leo, the A center fielder, will be the next batter. The 3 2 delivery. Quick three in the outside corner. 2 2 pitch. Out. Out. They had a check for the first base umpire. Look him out. And a curveball. That's strikeout number six for Steven. Terrific time in. And a strikeout for him. 
The 2 2 pitch. Back three. Eight strikeouts. 2 2 delivery. Back three, and Seaver's going to challenge Bob Gibson's record tonight, maybe. He struck out the side in the fifth. Nice ball struck him out. Ten strikeouts for Tom Seaver, the third. Seaver's 2 2. In there for a call, strike three. Strikeout number 11 for Tom Seaver. Check him out. Strikeout number 12 for Tom Seaver. As there is a run. Seaver is almost perfect. His speed and control are brilliant. Ernie Banks is just one victim of his 11 strikeouts. He gets flawless support from his teammates before 59,083 fans, a record turnout in Shea Stadium. When he strikes out Al Spangler, he's pitched eight full innings of scoreless, hitless baseball. Nancy Seaver holds back her emotions as a huge crowd watches every pitch. The first Cub up in the ninth. Randy Hutley tries a spoiling bunt, but Seaver throws him out. Two outs to go to a perfect game. Jim Qualls, a rookie outfielder, is up. A clean hit to left center field. And there goes the perfect game. But there's a standing ovation for Seaver by 59,000 fans. It's still a near-perfect game when Don Kessinger flies out to end it. And it's a vital victory for the Mets. Back-to-back -back wins. Shake up the Seaver against USC's Buford two and two. A changeup, cut on a miss. Seaver strikes out. Powell waiting at the plate. Fast ball is on the outside corner for strike three, and that's the top of the first inning. No runs. One two pitch on the way with the runner going. Brody throws to second base high, but it's inside. The tag is made by Harrelson. Johnson ran the throw. Here's a high pop up to the right side of the infield. When Denon is in foul ground off the first base side, grabs it. Fever has pulled out of a big hole, retiring three in order after giving up two lead off. Fever back quickly again. With the fastball, bounce to the right side. Backhanded by Clendenin. Throws to Seaver low, but Fever gets it. A fine play by both Fever and Clendenin. Clendenin. Blair starts. Foul hits a high fly in the left center. AG's. Calling for the ball, and the Orioles are gone in the set. No run. Blew it right by him. An overpowering inning for Tom Seaver, the manager of the Cup. Seaver's getting tougher and tougher as this game goes on. Popped up. Third baseman Ed Charles there. And it's another one through three inning for Seaver. At the end of seven, right away for him in the outfield. And here's a drive to right center. Swoboda comes up with it to tie the third. Here comes Frank Robinson. The game is tied. Ron Swoboda making another sensational catch for the Mets. The 3 2 pitch. Runner going. A drive out into right field. Swoboda's over there, flags it down. One run. Two delivery. Breaking hits, struck him out. So we'll be going to the bottom of the tenth. Strike got number six receiver. Got it. I heart will Oh, it's two. Strike to recall the receiver. Strikes out Paul Rule. We're going to retire my number, which means more to me, really. Oh, Steve is pitching like he wants to win his 300th. Youngster, he watched Tom Seaver pitching for the New York Mets. And it swung on. Two and two to Henderson. Whoa, took a ball, strike three. For the Yankees. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Tom Seaver has touched down to the jam here at the bottom of the eighth inning. One man out here in the ninth inning. As Tom Seaver is ready to work now to Don Baylor. And it's a high fly ball. It should be playable. Nichols is moving over. Nichols is there. The ball game is over. Seaver has won 300. He has become the 17th man in the history of baseball to win 300 games. Seaver will turn it loose now. 
Seaver glances to third as he works from the full windup. He sends in the one two pitch. Morales strikes out swinging. Seaver back to the plate. Then he swings. Did he go far enough? And Terry Tata says so. around to the right. 2 2 delivery. Swung on and missed. Got him with a good high fastball. Third strike. Now the 2 1. Fastball swung on. Hit off the glove of Seaver. Up of the ball. Concepcion got him. Oh, we get a break there as Tom Reese for the ball. I don't know whether they hit him on the glove or on the leg, but right. To Here's a pitch to Morales, swung on, high chop, third base side. Ray Knight up with the ball, quick throw to first, got him at first base. Close play and a good play by Ray Knight. Ray Knight. Slowly as Seaver comes back to Templeton, bouncing ball, shortstop, Concepcion. Morgan will hold the throw at second base as they get the force out on Mumphrey. Two away in the Cardinal ninth inning, and Seaver is one out away. Pause, the check and the pitch. He bounces to first base. Dreesen has it. He goes to the bag, and Seaver's got it. Bob Seaver has pitched his first major league no hitter, and this one belongs to the Reds. Seaver is being mobbed at first base as George Hendrick bounces a routine two hopper to Danny Dreesen and the 38,216 at Riverfront Stadium are standing.